Welcome, so here's yet another case study from a client of ours using AI to just grow their traffic from almost zero to 6,000 in monthly organic search traffic. And most of it comes, of course, from the US. And here, I'll reveal this side to you in a second here. Just wanted to show you the um, top pages that are ranking the traffic they're pulling in. Actually, let me just show you first the organic keywords. So they're ranking for all of these uh, health-related keywords, like this pomegranate juice make you poop, uh, bubble guts meaning, what is bubble guts? So, I mean, stuff for your gut health, okay? And all these, I mean, as you can see, 700 positions up. I mean, they're, they're all ranking. If we look at here at the top pages right here, uh, we'll see, for example, this one right here. Um, traffic volume of the keyword is 2.1 thousand. They rank for all of these uh, all these keywords. The traffic this page is pulling in is 1,300 every single month. And this page is 100% generated with AI. This is all AI content. As you can see, if you follow the channel for a while, you know that this is the exact structure we use uh, with our AI tool to generate content. It is a small intro, the key takeaways, and then in article images, proper content extraction with uh, Bullets, tables, internal links, right? Linking out to uh, other articles in their uh, in their their, their portfolio, uh, external links, even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is well. So this is an article about uh, does pomegranate juice um, help you poop, right? Right, and this video right here is about that. This is all done with AI. All this from top to bottom. They've even added a CTA down here in the middle, which is quite valuable. This is all done with AI. In specific, done with uh, Arvo. Okay. And now you might be asking, how, why does this work, right? How, how does AI content work? Well, I, I've said this again and I'll say it over and over again. Google doesn't care. Google doesn't care if it's AI or not, right? Google only cares about one thing. Does this content right here, does this satisfy the user's search intent, right? Does this content that ranks for all these keywords right here, do people searching for this and finding this content, are they having their search intent satisfied? And clearly there are, clearly there are, excuse me, because Google keeps on pushing this and keeps on ranking um, a bunch of pages, not just that one, on their site for a bunch of these keywords. Again, if you look here at the traffic overview, right, uh, they just keep on growing, again, mostly from the US. Okay, so Google doesn't care. Google doesn't care if it's a human, a robot, a dog, they don't care. All they care for is, is the content they're producing right here on their site satisfying the user search intent? And again, clearly is, right? It is valuable content. If you look at this, right? It is valuable content, right? Properly with a, the publisher right, who wrote the article, when it was written, written when it was updated, right? Properly uh, with um, uh, the table of content right here on the left-hand side. Key takeaways so you can read without, like, you, so you can get in the article without going, going through all, all this stuff right here proper images, which makes it engaging, proper videos, which make it even more engaging, internal links, external links right here, and then down here, there's an FAQ section uh, at the bottom. And by the way, again, uh, if you go into arvo.com and generate an article using this template right here, just add a keyword and add the title, right? The, the default template is gonna be this one right here, right? the exact same one right here, with the images, the videos, the, the links, the internal links, external links, table of contents, uh, key to equation section. That's a default right here. You can create custom templates if you'd like, and this is insane. Uh, you can say, uh, write a comparison article with three images, one video, uh, link to, and then put all your links here, right? Um, add a table comparing. I mean, you get the point. You can say, hey, do this, 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 very specifically, right? And it will do that. You can even do the markdown outline. Again, it's pretty cool. You can click here to watch the full tutorial and the full uh, capabilities of this because it's truly really like um, infinite capabilities. You can do anything you want. That, is, that being said, like the default template articles still rank, as you see by that whole traffic they're getting right here. And um, by the way, I mean, you, you could you could think, right, yeah, sure, but is this bringing any sales? Well, maybe people are actually booking a call. Right? Out of all of these, all of these almost 2,000 people every single month, surely some of them are booking calls, and surely some of them are, are calling here and, and having their uh, gut checked with this uh, the real gut doctor, which is based in the U.S. I'm not sure where, but I mean, a real business based off of California, right? So people, real people, real businesses are using Arvo, again, are using AI in specific Arvo, but I mean, honestly, the reality is that if you're not using AI, you're just gonna get left behind, okay? Because how fast can you do this right here? It takes you a ton of time to do the research, write the article, and then, okay, let me just find some images to put here. Okay, let me just click here and, and build an internal link to this other page, right? Find the relevant page to add an internal link to, then find a relevant page to add an external link to, then add the videos, go find the videos on YouTube, embed them here, right? It takes a ton of work, and AI just does this by default. Like, can you show you an example right here of an article that was generated, let's assume one right here. I, I always show this example because it's um, one of the most visual examples, which is uh, for this car dealership in Texas, right? What I'm gonna show right now, you can do this manually. You can do write, write all this manually, right? But why would you, when you can just use AI to do it for you, right? What's the best audit dealership in Texas? 
already written with the internal links, external links, in article images, even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is about. And in case you don't like something, you just go here and say, mm, I don't like the intro. Make it more beginner friendly. And if you just hit paste, right, you, you're speaking with the article back and forth. Just like if you're using ChatGPT, right, you can change things live in the article, right? And it will think about what your prompt is and change it just like this. You can say, uh, add a link to whatever, or add an image of a dog uh, standing on top of an Audi in the second paragraph. You get the point. You can do anything you want, right? And if you don't want to change the whole thing, you just select parts of it and uh, add links, Sprinkling your keywords right here, rewrite this, make it simple, make it longer, make it shorter, make a list, make a table. You can even add custom prompts like uh, mention Audi, e-tron, GT, etc. I mean, you get the point. You can do anything you want, right? And right here, it's updated the thingy, and you can see right here, and you can accept or decline based on changes. Let's say decline. You get the point, right? You can do anything you want if you don't like the content. And you can even take an existing article, just copy this URL, go here to editor, start from a link paste this in here, create draft, and it will take in the existing content you have on your site, maybe an old, outdated content, and you can use RAI not to write, but to update said content, right? So now it's imported right here, it imported the content, and I can say, mm, okay, let me just add a couple of links right here, right? Uh, let me just do ch some changes here and there. So you get, you get the point, you can update the existing old content with RAI. So Arvo not only just allows you to create the content, but also to um, update existing content if you'd like to. And again, it keeps on working. We have hundreds and hundreds of case studies of people using AI, right? Now, can AI write bad quality content? Yes. Can AI write trash content that doesn't rank? Yes. Can AI write content that is not really valuable? Yes. But so can humans, right? So can a human. Anything that RAI does, right? Anything that this does, this is not a magic tool. Anything that this does, you can do too. It just takes you a lot more time, okay? So both of these can do bad things, but both of them can do great things in here clearly explained by the growth in traffic from almost zero to around 6,000 at its peak, over 6,000 um, for the US market, which is a competitive market. And I'd, I would argue that gut health and all these keywords right here are somewhat competitive, right? So, so there you go, it, it still works, right? AI-based content still works as long as it is high quality. And we strive ourselves to make Arvo the one that writes the highest quality content. And again, you saw the default template, the basic, basic, basic default template, which is this right here, right, is high quality in of itself, okay? And so there you go. Now, granted, of course, don't just look at this and think, oh, I just need to produce content. No, right? you have to be backlinks, right? You have to build backlinks to sustain this uh, new content creation. Backlinks are key to ranking because SEO has three main pillars, right? on page SEO, which is basically anything that happens on the site. The content you write, how you write it, how it's interlinked, right? The images you put on there, the keywords you target, all this stuff, right? Then there's technical SEO, which is your meta titles, meta descriptions, your site speed, right? Uh, your schema markup, for example, let's just go here and say Dallas Plumber, right? Uh, schema is, there's a ton of stuff right here, but uh, an example of schema markup uh, live, it's basically this right here, right? Uh, let me just go to the second page and show you an, a tangible example, one of the most famous ones, which is this right here. This is done with schema markup. And schema markup, all it is, is like this little snippet of code you add to your site that adds extra, extra things to the SERPs, the search engine ranking pages. This right here, these little star ratings, not only they catch your eye, right, because not a lot of people have them, but they also give you more pixels in the in the Google, right? This stuff, like some results that have like images on here, this is done with schema, right? Uh, the FAQ schema, so if you just go in here, uh, what, or can dogs eat strawberries, right? This right here, the sites that appear here, because this is, they're all based off of sites, right? This is, happens right here because these sites have uh, FAQ schema on their, uh, their pages, okay? So again, this is the second pillar of SEO. Uh, I'll leave a link for this right here. It's gonna be the second link, right, for how to do all this schema markup stuff. Uh, but again, don't think that technical SEO is just schema markup. Technical SEO is like site speed, meta tags, all this boring stuff. Um, and by the way, before I reveal to you this, the third one, which, which you should know, I think you should know what it is, right? Um, still, uh, regarding technical, technical SEO, uh, there's a little feature right here with, called the site optimizer where you just add your site, right? Add your URL, add the language, select how many pages you want it to analyze. And what it does is it analyzes a bunch of your um, technical SEO. So in this case, it analyzed 50 pages on our site, right? It analyzes the page titles, the descriptions, the canonic URLs, the image alt text, internal links, and these two types of schema, which we'll add more in the future. These are all technical SEO things, right, to some extent. And what this does is it says, hey, listen, for this page right here, the slash square page, open right here, arvo.com slash square space, right? It's just a simple page going over, hey, we integrate with Squarespace, right? Our integrations, all these ones right here. We integrate with Squarespace, see, are you connected, et cetera? Like, it's a pretty simple, boring page, right? It doesn't, doesn't have much content. Uh, and, li and like one of our feature pages, for example, which has much more content, which by the way, this 
feature page right here uh, is the exact is the page for the feature that I'm showing you off right now. Uh, but again, pretty simple page, right? If you're a local business, you have like a service page or a location page. If you're an e-commerce store, you have like a product page. But what this does, right? It says, hey, listen, your current page title for this page is, is this. We suggest you change it to this, and here's why. Right? It gives you the reasoning as to why it thinks you should change it. Right? This title is more descriptive and includes the relevant keywords like AI powered, SEO blog writer, and Squarespace, Squarespace excuse me, which are likely search terms for users looking for SEO writing tools. It also emphasizes the free trial, which can track clicks. Okay? You can just hit apply right here. The AI will jump onto your site and change the page title just like that. Right? Without you, without you, without you, excuse me, having to log in into the CMS, which is pretty cool. And I can apply these to the ones I want. I can discard the ones I don't want, and the AI will learn for features or recommendations to um, recommend or not recommend certain changes. And by the way, quick tangent right here. I know I'm doing a bunch of tangents right here, but this last part is very important, right? Emphasizes, or was it emphasizes? Um, emphasizes uh, clicks. Why? Because still in the Technically, SEO aspect of it, the, the second pillar of SEO, is if you just do, let's do it again, Dallas Plumber, right? Uh, it's not necessarily because you're ranking higher that you're going to get more clicks, right? For example, this guy ranking higher than this one, this guy won't necessarily get more clicks, right? In this case, I think it will because this page title is awful, right? You shouldn't do a page title where it's too long that it has, has like these dots right here because it becomes irrelevant. It becomes too long, right? This is which much more optimized for clicks, the meta title and the meta description. So when you're changing your meta titles and meta descriptions, change them for, for SEO purposes, i.e. sprinkling in your keywords in the, in the title and the description because this will get, this will get bolded. But also um, think about this in terms of CTR, in terms of click-through rate, right? Because you want people to click it, okay? And a, a great way to increase click-through rate is, for example, with the little star ratings as you saw before, right? With the little images right here, which are done as well with schema markup. I know this is an ad, but schema markup also allows you to add these images without having it be an ad, Okay, uh, so you can do this again. I'll leave a link, so maybe the second link uh, in the description on how you can do this. And again, this there's a bunch more stuff like um, meta descriptions, canonical URLs, image alt text, which I can assure you, if you test this now, you'll have a, you'll have a bunch of images without alt text, and this automatically generates the images in it. You can hit apply. Excuse me, automatically generates the alt text. You hit apply, and it will automatically go to your site. Internal links. This is, I mean, surely you have if you have a site right now, you have a bunch of pages uh, on your site, right? A bunch of pages. And having them like interlinked, linking your blog post to your homepage, linking your service page with your homepage, linking this, uh, I don't know, this other page with this one is key for SEO because talking about the third pillar, which is off-page SEO, which is where we build backlinks, right? When you build backlinks to your homepage, for example, right here, this is your homepage right here. You want the link juice to flow through to the other pages, right? And the way in which you do this is through internal links. So internal links are key both for SEO purposes as well as for user experience. And so that being said, it's, it's a pain in the butt to go into your site and finding the pages. Okay, now I have this one, this one, this one, and I want to interlink this one or this one. Okay, I've found the pages where I want to interlink with, but now I have to choose the anchor text. The little text you click to go to one page, right? That text is going to work. This does it all for you. Like, it finds the page and says, hey, listen, I think you should link this page to this one using this anchor text, and here's why. Okay, boom. And if you hit apply, you'll go to that page, create the link just like that without you, without you having to log in or do a single thing. So you will build out all your internal linking structure for you. Again, this schema, the FAQ schema that I just showed you, article schema, soon we'll do more schemas, but again, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for, for how to do schema markup and how to do all this technical SEO stuff, so don't worry. And moving on to the third and final pillar of page SEO, which again is backlinks right here. They have 244 backlinks um, from 160 referring domains. Uh, ideally, you want the closest one-to-one -one ratio. Again, I explained this, I'll leave a link uh, surely maybe the first link in the description is going to be for a full SEO course when you're going to do on-page SEO and off-page SEO, right? Teaching you how to build backlinks. The, the exact same backlinks that I teach you how to build on this course, I charge uh, $300, $300 a pop. So that's pretty cool. Again, all of this for free. And uh, yeah, that's how they do it, right? Again, going back to the original point, they don't just get all this traffic from the US just because, right? They produce high-quality content using AI, right? Using our tool. Again, full disclosure, I own this tool. I'm 100% biased, but it does work. And they also uh, build backlinks to their site and have a proper brand, a proper, uh, proper real business, okay? And final thing is you don't want to be 100% dependent on uh, Google and Bing, right? You want to go and rank on ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, uh, Claude, right? And to do this, I recommend you go watch this right here, it's a video going over exactly step by step how to rank on these LM or AI based search engines. So click here to watch it. Thank you so much. Check out Arvo and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.